Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today I'm going to show you guys something that's pretty uncharacteristic of Samsung, and that is really allowing you to fully customize the way that your setting menus looks. You'd be able to fully hide your name and email on that little spot, or maybe if you wanted to, you can actually drag and re-customize your entire menu, maybe bring this one all the way to the bottom, or maybe take your connections, connected devices, if it's something that you don't play with as often, you can actually move both of these ones below this little section here, which is your modes and vibrations but not only that but they also allowed you to simply uh, change whatever function you want your little side key to be so if you want this one to simply go directly into your Google Assistant right away without these loopholes and third-party applications things like that so it's one little uh, module or one little application that allows you to get this done that Samsung has rolled out by themselves so this is a official Samsung way of getting things done it's gonna be inside of the brand new GoodLock 2023 three so in order for you to get good lock you do want to go inside of your galaxy store you want to search for good lock get it downloaded now good lock is region locked so for some reason there's certain countries that can download it other countries can't uh, this is probably just something that's made up from one of the organizations or groups of samsung that only has uh, their jurisdiction or their little ability to to release things in their spots or their regions so it's not something that's fully global some people do like to use VPNs to get this downloaded but I'm just gonna cover this one because I do live in the United States so this is available for me so I'm gonna show it off to you so how you're able to get this done is again inside of good luck 2023 it is revamped it's a new version there's a lot of really cool things I'm gonna show off but in this video today specifically I'm gonna show you Registar so Registar conveniently configure the settings app and press the side key tap the back or press the screen strongly to quickly launch useful features so there's a lot of things you can do from the back from the front from the side and then from the uh, menu settings itself so the first thing that we'll talk about will be how you're able to customize your settings home so one of the first things you can do is you can hide your email address so as you saw from the very beginning inside of my menu right here of my settings my email is on the very top it just says my name or I should say my nickname and also an email that's sitting right there what you can do is you can just fully hide it if you want to in order for you to get this done you do have to close out of your little settings once you go back inside of there you can see that now it's gone so it now just literally says my nickname and then Samsung account so if you do want to have that one thrown right back in you'd be able to bring it in too also if you wanted to you can bring it all the way to the very bottom so we're gonna go back inside of good lock since I accidentally closed out of every single thing now once you go back inside of good lock go inside of Registar uh, on the very top we're going to go through and change the settings one more time so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring back the email uh, and then we're going to go through and reorder it so the samsung account it's probably something that you might not open all the time so if you wanted to you can just drag this all the way down and then on the very bottom you can just leave it right there so this way it's not just sitting at the very top for anybody to you know to gander at things like that when you go through here again you can change uh and reorder pretty much whatever you would like they do have small little sections kind of cut out right here, uh, letting you know uh, how they're kind of displayed inside of your phone. If there is something that you don't want to sit there, you are able to turn that off if you want to. Now, because I am uh, someone who is doing YouTube, showing off tips and tricks and tutorials and all the different settings of Samsung phones, I have to basically leave my phone the way it is from factory out of stock because I do need to show you guys what's going on. So I just wanna show you that you can do these things. You can hide the email, you can bring it all the way down if you want to. There's probably a few changes that I would do, uh, but because I wanna teach you guys things, I don't wanna have all these questions coming at me asking why my settings is so different than yours. I do have to keep it the way it is. But again, some of the cool things you can do is move maybe these three above these two because I don't really, you know, play with connections and connected devices as much. That's usually just with the very top quick settings on the very top. So if you wanted to, maybe you can move these two right below it. So then you have these three on the very top. But again, you can do whatever you would want to. You can just hit on save. Right here it shows account's name. So right now I just have it as name. Again, you can also hide the email address. Now next up will be the settings change history. So once you toggle this one on, this is gonna give you a history of any type of settings that has been changed on your phone. Again, since this one was turned on. So if I was to have someone maybe play with my phone, make a few changes through all of my different settings, it's gonna give me a list of what's happened. So this way, if I needed to, I can go on back and put it back, revert it. Um, for search options. So when you do anything that's searching, it's gonna show you uh, you know what do you want to really pop up so it's going to show you either the menu order 
or accuracy. Uh, you also have two toggles here, allow creation of a shortcut uh, and then hide tag suggestions. Now, sometimes when you search for things, it might give you tag suggestions, like maybe a word or a tag you add into something so you can find it later. You can hide it if you want to. Uh, and then here's your back tap action. So I'm not really one to use the back tap. I've tested it. It does work. I did double tap to open up Sudoku. It opened it up perfectly fine. Uh, you also have triple tap. If you wanted to you know, add a second one back there, here's your gates. Basically what the gates mean is uh, low battery or power saving mode, whatever the case. So if my phone is locked, I'm not able to double tap to have something opened up. If I'm in power saving mode, if you double tap the back, you can toggle this on. And so now it's not going to activate whatever you have it set to. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can set it up for. So for double tap, you can have it as none, take and share a screenshot, access your Google voice assistant, uh, start pop-up window, show notifications, so show recent apps, back button, and then open an app. So actually, I, I had this one set up on Twitter, uh, and so that was able to pop up if I wanted to double tap the back, but I'm not really much of a double tapper. So the one thing I do like to use is the side key press and hold action. So for this one, I, ha I have it set up to access the Google Voice Assistant. Very simple and it's on the top. So I remember for a long time, a lot of people wanted to set this one up for the Google Assistant, and there was a lot of different applications you would have to use, a lot of them third party. So it's nice to see that just sitting right here. Now, the other options that you have, you have turn on or off the flashlight, turn on or off, auto rotate, live caption, uh, mute or unmute all volumes, show notifications, recent apps, back button, or open any application. Really go through, you can change anything, pick any of these thingies, uh, once you press and hold, you'll be able to open it up that way. Again, I like to have just the Google Voice Assistant sitting right there. Uh, so that's pretty much all you'd be able to do with Registar. It's pretty cool. It's one of those that was just recently added. Uh, so maybe let's say that we go inside of here. I'm going to go inside of it in terms of the store. I'm going to see when this one was last updated uh, and added in. Underneath the, the updates, there's only two updates. So that means that it's been out for a little bit and then one additional update after that. Uh, and it looks like this was last updated January 11th. So this is very, very recent of an update. Again, pretty cool, a way that you're able to configure your settings application, uh, tap the screen, press and hold, double tap the back. Uh, so a really cool you know, addition, a really cool module inside of GoodLock if this is something that you know pertains to you. You may like it, I know I do. And so I really don't use every single thing inside of GoodLock. Um, so I'm one of those more simpler type people. I do like to know everything about what's in here, but for what I use on a daily basis, Registrar is a brand new module. That is one that I have downloaded and I do actually use. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe at the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.